The New Asia Fund uh, is in its 10th year, so it's been around for quite some time. Uh, we, uh, the fund owns between 40 and 60 uh, Asian companies. Uh, and the uh, long-term objective of the fund is to, uh, of course, provide uh, good absolute gains for investors. Uh, and we're also uh, uh, clearly trying to beat the, the benchmark, if you like. Uh, but we think Asia will give good, solid, absolute gains for investors over the medium to long term. Uh, and we want to give Australian-based investors the, the ability to access some of the best Asian companies. 2014 was, uh, uh, I'm glad you asked, was our best year for, for some time. Um, we comfortably beat the, uh, the index, the benchmark. Uh, in fact, the last three years has been a very, uh, very good period for the fund and myself and the team are working very hard to ensure we continue that in 2015 and, and beyond. We're a predominantly a bottom-up stock picker um, and that bottom-up stock picking is very heavily driven by very thorough fundamental research on companies. And we run reasonably focused portfolios between 40 and 60, not overly concentrated and we want to back our sort of views with conviction but we still want to have the ability to get some reasonable diversification in there. So it's between 40 and 60 stocks, currently the portfolio owns about 50. Um, so at its simplest we just want to, you know, at any one time own the, you know, say top 50 stocks that, you know, look most attractive to us or the risk, re risk reward looks, you know, most attractive to us but also give a little bit of a diversification across a lot of different countries, markets and a lot of different sectors as well. The fees on the fund we think are reasonably competitive uh, compared to uh, you know, other funds in the market. Um, so we have a 1% a, a management fee, which I think would be uh, kind of you know, pretty fair and reasonable when you compare it to uh, uh, the other managers in, in the space. We also have a, a performance fee, which is 10% uh, above the index and it also has to be a, a positive absolute return. So if the index is down 10 and we're down 5, we've done quite well against the index but we still haven't given a positive absolute return, there's no performance fee. So we've tried to put something in place that's very fair and reasonable, both on the management fee and the performance fee. And we think if we do get a performance fee then we've, uh, then we've earned it basically. Asia uh, offers something a little bit different to investors based uh, in Australia. Um, you know, clearly uh, Asia, uh, Australia is, um, you know, geographically very close uh, and, uh, you know, has a, a, you know, a very strong interest to, you know, what's going on uh, across Asia. Um, also Asia has, uh, you know, Asian stock markets, uh, the structure of them is quite different to what's available in Australia. The example would be uh, technology. Technology as a percentage uh, of my investable universe, of my benchmark, is around about 20%. Um, so it's a large sector that, that, you know, and a lot of, you know, very, very strong Asian technology companies that we can invest in. Uh, and technology, of course, is not a big sector in the Australian stock market. So it, it gives Australian-based investors, as one example, uh, um, you know, an opportunity to invest in something that they can't get access to in, in Australia.